breast augmentation tomorrow. That's crazy. That's so fucking crazy. I can't believe I just said that out loud. Anyways, it is currently 11.04 and it is the night before my boob surgery. I'm freaking nervous, but I'm also so excited. I also can't drink or eat anything after 12. I'm drinking out of my booby cup. Shout out to my bestie boo who got me this cute ass fucking cup. Look, it has so many little titties on it. I'm currently getting ready for bed. Oh God, I'm fucking nervous. I think the, the nerves are starting to finally kick in and I don't know how to act. I'm gonna do my skincare while I kind of talk to y'all about what's going on. I've been waiting for this day for so freaking long. I'm not gonna go into like too much detail with why I'm getting it. I think it's pretty freaking simple. I used to be insecure back then and now I finally have the money and the time to be able to do this. I wanna be feminine in little cute ass dresses so I'm just excited that I'll finally be able to walk out and feel the most powerful, the most confident. Not that I didn't feel like that before because at this moment, honestly, I feel so happy. I am totally in love with myself and I'm not really insecure anymore about my boobs. I think over time, I have just kind of learned to fall in love with them. I wasn't really like planning to get my boobs done like right now. It just kind of happened because my birthday just passed. It was August the 14th. And prior to my birthday, I was just kind of like, what am I gonna do? So I was just trying to brainstorm like ideas. Should I do a party? Should I go out? Should I just have a nice dinner? Like I was just coming up with random ideas. And somehow, somewhere along the lines of me thinking, I was like, what if I got my boobs done for my birthday? Like what if I low key just bought myself boobs as a gift? Cause I think I was also kind of thinking of like, like what am I gonna buy myself? And I was just curious, you know, I was just thinking about it. I wasn't going to do it. And somehow, someway, I ended up on like a bunch of different surgeons, like pages and girl, there was no going back. Like there was no going back. The minute I started looking at like different reviews and different surgeons in the area and such, I made up my mind in that minute. I was like, yep, I'm doing it. <laughs> this is what I'm going to give myself for my birthday. After that. I just pretty much talked to my parents about it and to my like closest friends and I was like should I do it and everybody was pretty supportive everybody was like do what makes you happy go for it and I was like you know what yeah I think I'm gonna do it dude I feel like I low-key manifested this kind of unintentionally but sort of anyways yeah I feel I just <laughs> I'm getting nervous this is the last night that I can do my skincare because tomorrow in the morning I'm not allowed to wear any kind of lotion, um, moisturizer, face creams. Like I have to go with my skin very, very clean. I do have to take another shower in the morning just to make sure that I'm super duper clean. I'll see you guys in the morning when I am pretty much ready to head out. About to be back on this hoe with some big beauties. Mm. I'm kidding. I didn't even introduce myself. I am so sorry. Before I go to sleep, if you are new to this channel, my name is Ale, and I know this is such a random, crazy video, but yeah, we're getting our boobies done. So welcome and enjoy the freaking ride because this hoe's gonna get a little scary. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, guys. surgery day holy shit. I just finished getting out of the shower um, I already took off all of my jewelry because I can't go in with any type of jewelry remember no body creams no nothing my freaking body feels so tight and dry because I'm not used to like not having any type of lotion on or anything so that's a little bit uncomfortable but it's fine here is the fit okay so shout out to my cousin he let me borrow it because I needed like something to zip up so it could be easy to take off and on and not 
hurt my boobies. And shout out to my bestie boo for giving me these. Dang, I guess I'm not even wearing my own clothes. And of course the crocodiles. <sighs> Holy shit. I'm gonna have boobies in like two hours. I'm gonna go check on my mom because um, it's 7.40 right now and we do have to head out by 8 because my surgery is in Dallas so that's about like 30 minutes 30 minutes for me. Wish me luck guys. I'm so excited now. I think the anxiousness kind of went away but I think it's gonna come back once I get like into the hospital. <laughs> I'll see you guys maybe on the car ride. Bueno, pues aquí estamos. Ojalá le vaya bien a mi hija. Te deseo lo mejor. Te quiero mucho. Todo va a salir bien. No te preocupes. Te apoyo y eso. te deseo lo mejor. I love you. Bueno, ya estoy aquí. Este, voy a, a pasar a ver a mi hija porque ya la acaban de sacar del quirófano. Pero este, fui tan mensa que estaba tratando de grabar. Estaba poniendo en slow motion la mensa. Uh, sí, pero bueno. Anyways. Falta de experiencia, ¿verdad? Porque como aquí yo no soy una profesional. Bueno, pues vamos a ver a mi hija. Vamos a ver a mi hija. Vámonos a ver. Vamos a ver. Ay, mamá. Ay, my love, my chico, chamba, chamba, cachan, chan. ¿Cómo te sientes, mi amorcita? Mi amorcita dolorida. No puedes ni hablar bien por la anestesia. Está hablando como una borrachita amiga. Bueno, diles hi a tus followers. Aquí mi hija recuperándose. Gracias por apoyar a mi hija, por darle like a sus videos y por todo. What's up, guys? I just got out of surgery. Yo, these graham crackers, busting. This blue Gatorade, busting. Honestly, I feel good. I'm still a little woozy from the anesthesia, but. I read somewhere that like if you take deep breaths like in and out, oh, I can't breathe too hard. Kind of helps make the anesthesia go away, and it definitely has helped. Everybody's been really nice, so I really appreciate that. But right now, I don't really feel any pain. I just feel like I got like a 10-pound plate on my chest right now. But I feel good. I feel good. We can't record for too long in here because they did say that. Oh, gotta go. ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Te sientes? ¿Todo bien? ¿Todo bien? ¿Te sientes como un poquito dizzy? ¿Escuchas? ¿Se me escuchas? Se le bajó la presión. Se levantó para ir al baño y pues, um, pues se le bajó la presión. Y ahorita estamos aquí. Se está recuperando. I know I didn't record anything last night because y'all I was going through it. Thankfully, I have my bestie boo here. Everybody meet Gabby. I think you've already met her in the last couple videos. Holy shit. We could not sleep last night. Um, I was going in and out of pain, so that was kind of hard. I would have recorded, but I just Guys, I was going through it, honestly. I guess it's just because this is my first time and I've literally never gone to the hospital before this. My body was just in so much shock that like it didn't really know how to react. Long story short, I did not react to the anesthesia the best. I did kind of like get really pale and basically like pass out in the hospital. So I had to stay there for a little bit longer. Thankfully, like after the whole nausea and dizziness went away, I was able to come back home. But 
I passed the fuck out once I got here. But luckily, my my dad, Gabby, and my dad's girlfriend came over, and they were so sweet. They brought me flowers, groceries. And Gabby was literally taking care of me all freaking night. I felt so bad, though, because I had to keep waking her up so that I could go to the restroom, and I'm not in any physical pain right now. I just feel a lot of pressure on my chest, so it's a little hard to breathe. My posture sucks right now because all the weight is like on my chest and it's like naturally making me want to hunch over. And my back pain was at a like an eight to 10 last night. It was horrible. More down the line, I'll show you guys a little bit more in depth of how they're actually gonna look like once they fall a little bit more. But I will say this bra and all this gauze is not comfortable. I have to do like these certain exercises. I basically have to do like jumping jacks without the jumping part. So my hands have to literally like go all the way up. Gabs is just doing my hair now. here at the hospital it's currently day four post-surgery this is the first day i'm gonna see my boobies i'm scared because they're gonna have to make me do the exercises again i don't know i'm scared that it's gonna really hurt but let's see how it goes hello hi, hi. doing good a lot better okay, a lot better I think so. I think so. Oh my god, you look so pretty. Y'all want to be on my vlog? No? I guess so. Maybe? <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom into her all the way over there. <laughs> so pretty. drinking some tea because your girl is really bloated. I literally look like I'm three months pregnant. I'm finally back home and I've got the boobies. So fucking crazy. The journey to get here was fucking insane. Let me just say I underestimated this recovery because holy shits. Today's day four post-op so it's really, it hasn't been that long, and honestly, I am exhausted. I am literally so bloated, my ovaries even kind of hurt. I think it's just from the amount of like bloatedness. It's been kind of hard for me to breathe normally because every time that I take deep breaths, my chest expands 
so it's a little hard to just take breaths in general everything has been great though not really um i will say i mean i kind of figured that my experience was gonna probably be a little bit tougher than most just because i literally went from like a negative a cup like i literally had nothing to i'm assuming these are gonna be like full c maybe even a d if i'm being honest i don't know um what bra size i will be fitting into but right now they look massive like girl when i saw them literally like my eyes bulged out of my head because i was like this isn't how they're gonna look right and of course like they gave me so much reassurance to make sure that like no they're not gonna look that way they just look like that right now because i'm still recovering but yeah they're like way all up on my chest like girlies are like right here and they're very boxy right now very much look like man pecs rather than boobies i know over time you know they're gonna start falling and you know fluffing and just looking more natural so i'm ready to just skip this part and get there already but if you guys are interested in me doing kind of like a six weeks update on how they look once they like fall and look more natural and closer to what they're gonna look like maybe i can do a q a in case you guys are wondering like how much i paid information about the doctor what exactly i had to do let me know in the comments down below if you guys are interested in that kind of video but for now i think i'm gonna end it here i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos i will see you guys in the next one and thank you so much for watching